Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and we're coming to our 10th, 11th lecture of creating a complete hotel management system. So we always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. Without wasting time, let's go straight into today's business. So in the previous lecture, we were able to create uh, the room. In the previous lecture, we were able to create the room, we were able to edit the room, and you remember we were able to delete the image of a room. See, I can be able to delete an image of the room and it will disappear. And we are also able to change the photo that is on the room. Okay, I am able to change the photo of a room. So uh, now in this lecture, in today's lecture, we are going to proceed from there and uh, take it from there and proceed. Uh, what we are going to look at today, we are going to look at now the main listing. We're going to design our landing page at this moment we're going to focus on the customer uh, placing an order and also maybe the listing of the product so when you finish customer placing an order we harmonize this order then we'll go back and uh, do what and now master the and master the the front end okay and do the final uh, i mean and do the final mastering just like uh, how you see they do finishing on a house so we shall do that when we when you finish like the main core logic of placing an order and manage the order all that thing all those things that's what we're going to begin with so with that much said uh let's go straight to today's business uh previously we were able to do what we were able to, to come here to rooms edit the room we we're able to for example change the name of the room all those things are able to do them right so let's go ahead and now work on the logic that i've just told you the front end logic so you know uh, when I shared with the basic code with you, that the one that you begin with, the base project code, I shared with you uh, the template and you can find those templates in the project that I gave you, in the code that I gave you. So that template is here. So I mean that template is here. So in this template we have two main things. One thing we have, um, the first thing that we have in this template, we have an admin, okay, an admin HTML. And the second thing that we have in this template is the hotel template. So this hotel template is the front end of what we want to do in this particular what in this particular project. So uh, if you come here to hotel and then you'll be able to see here, um, uh, here, and then come here, you'll be able to see the template that we are talking about. Okay, so everything that you want is already here. So all of us, or I mean, all all what we'll be doing is to give it now what is to give it pub is to give it life. Okay. So let's go straight into the business, right? Uh, so if I come here to our project and I click and I put stroke template, you'll be able to see this. If you download the project, then if you click on hotel 2, you'll be able to see the template that I'm talking about. So this is the template, okay? So we're going to put this on our landing page. And then after putting this on the landing page, we're going to work on the, on the what? On the on the headers and footers and then we also work on the logic of putting the rooms here and then after we go ahead and work on the logic of placing the order and and checking out the order so let's go straight into that let's go straight and we do that right so i hope this code you already have it for this particular template all right so we want our landing page to be like this so this template provides different landing pages i uh, will have this one i uh, will have this home two See, there is another one of this kind, okay? And uh, then there is uh, this one. So this one has this kind of uh, image template. So over this one, you can change them. These are news. Uh -huh. So here we have another one. So you see, so there are different templates, okay, that you need. I think this is the one that you say that you're going to use. Here, we begin with the landing page. Here, you have the front text. At the front text, then you have the room listings. After the room listings, you have the extra services, and then the video, and then the facilities that we offer. And the, what are these? These are services, and then uh, we have here the news section. I think this is the one that we're going to do. Uh, this is template number what? This is template number three. So the home page number three. So if we can give everything that is here. If we can give it life, everything that is here, if we can give it life and we make every button that is here to be clickable, then we shall have come up with something that uh, we think can be uh, considered as a what? As a, a real complete project. 
okay so that's what you're going to do you're going to take this number three and we're going to make sure that everything that is here we give it life and it should work all right so um now next what next the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to do what i'm going to to check out this let's check out this number four this number four it's like this the landing then the rooms and then the services i think we should just go with three we should just go with three and make a target that everything that every button that is in a template three should be clickable and it should be working so let's do that let's go with three all right so uh now what you'll do we'll just go to 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 hotel three okay the layout the third layout of the home page so the one that i'm going to go with so i'll go to that so the, the name of the template is um index index html okay so i'm going to find that where it is so i'll come to a project and i come to template and then hotel two and then come to demo and then we come to number three which is here this one this is where we, this is the template we're going to use i can press ctrl and hold it and then press p so by doing like that you can be able to search into files so if you paste there html3 you'll be able to do what to see it all right so this is the code that we're going to use okay so let's face it and you start approaching it so i'll go to our index.php that is the landing page of our main project so let me collapse everything here I'll collapse everything here. This is the button of collapsing everything. So I'll go to our um, index.php. This one here. This is the main page, the main landing page. So if you go, if you come here and then go to uh, localhost uh, hotel pro, if you go to your main project, this this we're going to put now the landing. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll come to the template and say control A, control C. So I'll select everything and copy everything that is there and then i come and put it here in our index.php this is the index.php so let me try to paste it there so i paste it there so after pasting it there if i save i come and refresh of course you're going to see there the html but it's going to be in a what in a wrong uh, structure why because i've not imported the css the css is not in the right folder so what we're going to do, let's look at this CSS, how it is organized, and to see if we do not conflict with the one that we already have in our asset folders, on our asset file. So here yeah, I see they have plugin the CSS and styles the CSS. Uh, those are the two things that they have there. Uh, plugin the CSS and style the CSS. I hope this is not there yet in our admin template that we are having. Let's go to the JS. So you have your stroke JS, you have jQuery modernizer place i think still it will not uh contradict with what we have so let's first import it and see what we what we're going to get so i'll come here to public ht i mean to to hotel html remember our assets are here these are assets okay so come here to hotel html and then come here to demo light and then these are the folders these are the asset folders we have the folder of css the folder of fonts the fold of img and the fold of js i believe all these are not here yet so what i'm going to do i'm just going to open this in my finder reveal in finder so you just go to the folder where it is okay so let me open another instance so this is the second instance we have here the template and then here i'm going to have the project so let me navigate to where my project is my project in under ht docs and then it is under hotel pro folder and then this is where the project is. So I want to bring, I want to copy the CSS that are corresponding to the to the template that we're going to use. I want to put it in what in my folder, right? In my assets folder. So uh, this let's check also here. Are they inside assets? Of course they should be inside assets. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have CSS. So the CSS is on top for them. They don't have those things of assets. All right, it's okay. We can go with that. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll come here to Hotel Pro, Hotel Pro, and then come to Duro Themes, and then come to Demo, and then come to HTML, and then come to C P P A, and then come to Light. So this is where the project is. So this is the MP4 file that they have been using when you click on the Play. So you can also copy it. Let's just copy it. Let's copy these two. 
and put it on the top of our project here let's just copy them in case they don't work for us we shall find a way out so i put them out there all right so let's go ahead and proceed so this is um Ote, i mean demo light so in this demo light uh, they have css folder and then the fonts folder and then the image folder the rest are html okay well and good so i'm going to copy this folder of css as it is there i copy it and then i paste it in a hotel pro project not inside assets but on the top of the project so i just skim come here and paste it there so our folder of css has been imported we proceed so we go ahead and copy plug fonts copy fonts and then come here on top of the pro of the folder i mean of the project i paste there fonts so fonts are already are now imported i go to img so this img they can be temporary we can as well delete them uh we can as well delete this img so let me copy them just for the sake of uh, demonstrating uh copy those paste them here so they are also imported let me see how heavy it is because this can become heavy sometimes they're just seven, seven mbs yeah we can deal with seven mbs all right to proceed to i think that's all we proceed to js yeah js folder is there copy this js folder and paste it there all right paste on top so what have i done i've just imported C assets css i mean sorry i've just imported css folder fonts folder img folder and the js folder so the folder that i've just copied and put in our project so after come and save here let's go ahead and try to refresh and you see if you try to refresh boom beautiful everything has come that is so beautiful uh so this is our project you see it's our project and everything has come or maybe you can just go to inspect and see if there is anything that is crying so if you come here to inspect and go to console of course there will always be something that is complaining it's got console ouch there are so many things that are complaining this i don't know dark i am dark the png this dark png logo is missing i think we can bring it less oh, external html is also missing all right so let's go ahead and open this open open in new tab so it is uh, dark png under img let's see if we can get it here just control p dark png logo dot logo dark dot png is not there however you can just simply go to img of your project and then look for this logo just duplicate it and then rename it as this dark dot png so you can reduce on these things that are complaining so I come and refresh it is there uh let's go ahead and refresh you see it's good the error is gone uh what else uh this um what else uh what else is missing we are missing um external link external html let's see if also we can get this thing so I'll just press alt and p control p and paste it there so it is there it is there the file is there so let's try to copy it let's try to copy it so if i come if i come here and say open in new tab open in new tab open in new reveal okay open in new tab so it is inside it's supposed to be outside total like outside as the project let's try to push the outside the project and we see if it will help so i'll come to outside the project okay let's first try to put in the project external.html um so img so come here to hotel pro on top of it let's try to put on top of the project and see if it will help Ouch. so let's go ahead and get it i don't know how i can find it uh so external it's not in here let's see how where we get it here it is inside so it is on the top of the project it is somewhere here so i have hotel 2 html so let's see where it is it is here hotel 2 there is external it. all right i can copy it and still paste it from the visual studio let me just say copy and come here and say paste so i've just put it on the top of our project uh let's see if it has come of course it has not come let's uh go to where it is being called 
this is taking much of our time but it's okay because we are learning let's go ahead it's being cold so let me first remove these dots that are going backwards let me just remove all of them uh let's go ahead and try to refresh if it fails okay i think it has come now see there are no more errors so here well, migrate is installed version 3 so there are no more errors okay you see there are no more errors everything is so beautiful and we can do like this okay let's try to play a video i think the video is not coming but we shall sort that we shall sort that all right so let's just focus on the positive let's just focus on what we have right now so you've seen how i've achieved that you've seen how i've achieved that so let me go ahead and proceed with uh, more things all right so now let's now let's see how what the customer will do so the customer will go ahead and click on the room and try to check out okay and try to book a room so let me open here the template so according to the template if you click on a room if you click on the room you see when i click on the room details i'm able to see the room details so i think this is the top photo these are the these are the gallery photos and then here we have the details and then here we have the checkout so when you go to the checkout this is a place where we shall now maybe do our own logic now and make sure the customer can be able to do what uh to place in the order okay so before we go there let us uh, at least have the room listing there let us have the room uh listed on our home page okay let's have the room listed on our home page the one that we've been adding and also after doing so we go ahead and uh, and uh, we go ahead and do what we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and do what we go ahead and work on the logic of uh, of what we go ahead and work on the logic of uh, placing an order right okay so let's begin let's begin so what we're going to do right now what we're going to do right now uh, so you know not every room is going to be on the home page for example not not every room is going to be on the home page so if you want to we have to give the person who is working in the hotel or the one who is going to use the system to have ability to select the room that should be on the home page and those that should not be on the home page so what we're going to do we're going to add one more uh, column in our in our um, in our system uh, we're going to add the 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 logic of adding of, of of saying this room should be on the home page or should not be on the home page. okay we can just okay let's just do it like this remember remember in the rooms we had set us whether the room is booked or it's not booked so we can decide using that but right now let's just give the ability for the a person to who is using who is using the system to select this room should be on the home page this should not be on the home page something like that let's do that let's do that so what we're going to do we're going to go to our database at least right now we have something that is beautiful that look like this okay now let us give it life so we're going to go to our database so i'll go to our local host php uh php admin and go to our hotel pro database hotel pro database here it is so i'm going to come here to rooms and then add one more columns okay i will add one more column so come here to structure and then come here one more column okay come here and say it is uh, so I'll come here and say and come here and say and say uh, so I should we call this column say show at home so you should show at home page or something like this. display at home page something like this okay so maybe show at home show display something like you can put anything that you want let me show at home so I can make variable character it will be yes or no so let me just put here 55 and make it nullable by default and then again change it to as defined and say uh maybe by default a room should show at home page so let me say yes okay so i go ahead and add this to the what to the rooms so in our rooms column i mean in our rooms data now we shall have a field called chat home page so let's go back to our admin the php and then go to the rooms and then in this room edit we're going to put one more field i don't know why this guy is doing like this okay we're going to put one more field let's try to submit and see if there's any issue everything is okay all right uh, i don't know why this thing is complaining by default 
maybe there is some error that you're not cleaning okay uh maybe yeah, i think there's some error that you're not cleaning what are you going to do okay we're going to add let's first focus on one thing so i'm going to add here one more column here on the next the room status i want to put short home page either to be yes or no okay so let's go ahead and go to that file so i'm going to admin room create.php and then go to the status next to this status okay so next this status room status we're going to put we're going to duplicate this room status okay and then call this one uh so i'm just going to put here the column called the name of the column going to call show at home okay so and then uh here i'm going to call i'm going to put the text show at home page okay short form page that's what i shall call it so it will be required it will be having the default value of room short short home and then we shall put here by default will be yes put here yes and then no so no like this all right uh -huh. so after doing so let me go ahead so you'll see that i have to reduce these columns at least Let's make this one to be 333. Three, three. I mean to be three columns that should appear here. So I'll come here and make this one to be. Um, so there are how many already? There were, there were four. So I'll make sure to be three. So total of divide by three is equal to four. So I'm going to have four columns there. So I'll put here three. And then put here three. And then put here three. So let's go ahead and refresh. So we shall see our room is now fitting there. Short home page should be it is a yes or no. You can see that. All right, so let's go ahead and collect it. Don't forget to collect it, otherwise, it will not be saved. So, at short home page, I'll just simply come here, short home, come on top here and add it under the things that you're collecting. So, next the status, I can duplicate this one and add short home. And also make sure that you're also collecting it when they are editing. So, this is when this is when it is what this is when it is uh, creating. However, you can, by the way, you can write this thing only at once. You put it on top there, and then you'll be using it in other scenarios. And then let's come and duplicate this one and make this one when it is editing. Show at home. So that is okay now. Uh -huh. Now this, when, the, when, when it is successfully submitted, I think we need to... So let's come here to session. Uh, you see... We have these form errors, eh? errors. So we have to clean it every time we submit successfully, at least. Otherwise, we shall be having these kind of issues before, before we even start working. So let's always clean it. So I'll come here when it is going to redirect. Or as soon as we finish saving, here where there is header, I first uh, clean the session errors. So clear this okay so i'll go ahead and clear it and set so i'll be doing that before we do it before we do the header redirect i first clear the session errors all right you see i first clear them then i set the message so by doing like that we shall not be having this kind of issue so let me go ahead and put here then uh, for example i go ahead and submit for example let me say no and see if it will save so by default it has been yes if i submit successfully so if i come back to edit you'll see that the error is gone like there's no error and the no has been saved all right i tried to change the image and there was some issue let's try to change the image maybe and see if there's no issue submit see when i submit the image there's something weird that happens um room categories it takes me to room categories let's see let's see if, let's fix that very fast uh main photo All right, so so here are the rooms, and you see here it is redirecting us to main categories. Okay, so here there is some issue. I think let me let me die here. Name is required. Let's try to come to this and refresh. See, so everything is okay. If we don't change anything. Uh -huh, now the problem is coming when you're submitting the real photo let's submit you see 
with the issue that we're getting. Post content exceeds, oh, okay, the image is so heavy and we have to increase our post content. Let's see, the image is so heavy, I think that's why. So I can, you can just go to your php.ini and increase that and increase the, so this area is popular. You can find how to solve it from here. Just go to php ini and then if you're getting this error, just go to php ini dot ini and then increase the what the size of the upload and then increase the size of the upload. Okay, just go to php dot ini and then increase the size of the upload. I think let me fix that. I don't know whether it's not going to waste much of your time. Uh, okay, let's let's fix that. But I'll fix it on my own, but you just search for your file php.ini, it is in your XAMPP folder, and then go ahead and inc and, and increase um, that. So I can just simply come here, for example, to my applications, uh, to applications, come to, to MAMP, uh -huh. then come to bean. Uh, then come to PHP and then come to I think this is the PHP that I'm using. Let me see the PHP that I'm using. I'm using PHP what? PHP 8.2. PHP 8.2 here. Then come here to bin and then come to php.ini. Where can I find it? Configuration it is here. Then we read your state of code. Right, so in your ZAMP, it will almost the same structure. Just search for php.ini. Okay, so if you cannot get it, just um, just 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 search on internet. There are so many solutions for getting that php.ini. It is inside your ZAMP folder. Okay, in the bin folder. So let me see. This is mine. So it has been accepting that. So the max upload size is 20 MBs. So I can make it maybe 2 GBs, something like that. Can make also this one to be 200 MBs, 2 GBs, like the save. After saving, then go ahead and restart your what? Your ZAMP. So I'll restart mine, and that's so problem is solved. So the problem has been um, the image that I've been uploading, it was so heavy. It has been so heavy. So the one I've been using for testing, right? It has been so heavy. So after doing so, I'll go ahead. After doing so, let's go ahead and refresh now our project. I first try to upload. Uh, yeah, it's not working. It is exceeding. It's exceeding the. I don't know how heavy the image is. However, let me save this. But uh, in case you get that problem, that is the how you can solve it. Okay, so. Post content is exceeding. So how heavy is that image, by the way? Let me go ahead and use the image that is not heavy. Let me come here and say, change this one to list. All right, size. The image has been so heavy. Let me just get a light image like this one. But it's also still heavy. Try to upload, see it will change it accordingly. All right, so. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Um, uh, now we have the images that are showing on the home screen and one that are not. I mean, you have the products. I mean, the rooms that should show on the home screen, the one that should not show on the home screen. So if I submit, that's what I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed now to our project. So I'll come to our main page. Okay, so let me come to our main project. Uh, let's make this button to be taking you to the main project. I mean, to the main home. So we shall go to header. Dashboard header. And then go to where there is logo. And put here. Uh, what? Uh, so we can we can we can be defining. Uh, let's go to functions. Functions. So let's go to function. Let's put a function called URL. This function of URL, it will be returning the the what? It will be returning the 
the project link okay so by default equals to null so this is how it going to look like so uh, this is going to be a main url or the main link you can call this one maybe link uh, i can say maybe base url our uh, base url is going to be that and then we are going to check if if uh, the path is not null is null we return the base url if it's not null we go ahead and return we add there the path okay so let's go ahead and get the where our project is located so here you get now the link of where your project is located and come and put it here okay so this is where the project is located so it means now if you want to if you want to uh if you want to now uh get the url for example now come here to header so i'll put here uh php equals to i go ahead and call just our url like this so it will get now the link of the url okay so if i come and refresh here you'll see that um when i move my mouse over here it's taking us to our main what i mean project okay taking us to our main project all right so that is how you can let me just do like this and so i can just check if this path is beginning with the front uh, say, say check if path starts with that so if i can check for it otherwise you add it there okay so I'll first check if the path is not empty if uh so i can put here and and is empty okay so that's it it is null or it's not it is empty if it's null or it's empty i'll return the base here if it's not i'll check if it has uh the first thing is beginning with this otherwise i'll under i just add it to the main path if it doesn't i just return this so by doing so we shall have something like this all right we shall have something like this okay okay let's so let's go back to home page let's go back to home page so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to put uh, the room listing so i'm going to put here our rooms i'm going to put here our rooms so how shall we do that we shall just simply come to uh let's come to here to the main index.php 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 and then we come to here where there is rooms and services whoever we are going to also do the public head and the rest but before we do that let's first make sure that these rooms are listing here in a cleaner way so these are the rooms and suites so if i come here and search for this so let's come here on top here on top php so let's put here uh, a variable called home rooms okay so by default we can make it a what we can make it a, an empty thing okay so let's go ahead and uh, include the html i mean require once functions okay so after require once functions so i'm just going to come here to where there is uh rooms admin rooms well it's just going to be much more of this okay admin rooms so just going to simply say uh you can just simply put it directly here and say db select equals to i mean rooms home rooms or the home page rooms you can just simply come and say maybe home page so the thing that you'll be putting on the home page you can say maybe home page rooms home page rooms like this equals to db select and then you say rooms however remember we have passed the condition so here are going to pass the where okay so you're going to pass the where remember uh, our where is that show at home you should be having show at home set as what as yes so if i come here and come to our admin create and look for show at home so this show at home it should be yes so i'll put here our array and then over where and put this one also oh, oh, sorry this way has to come as a what as a string not not an array it has to come as a what 
as a string okay so we're going to say showrooms just simply say where showroom equals to so you put if so you go equal sign equals to and then let me make this one to be double quotes equals to yes like this so here you shall be getting uh where showrooms equals to yes so let's go ahead and try to dump what we have and we see what we've come up with so I just simply come and say print underscore r and then come and die here and save come and refresh you'll see that we have our room okay where the showroom is at is yes so you have at least one room there so let's go try to go to admin let's go try let's try to go to admin and see so admin stroke admin let's go and try to change this room and make it to be no not to show at home page so if i save I come and refresh here you see there's no room that is showing at home page you, you I hope you've, you've seen that so let's go ahead and say short room and make it yes submit you see now the rooms are showing that all right so that's beautiful that is beautiful that is the data of a room i can copy it for the sake of and then i come here and create my comment and put that data there maybe you shall use it for benching marking on it so let me delete everything here i'll delete everything here now what you're going to do is come and save here so i'm going to come to this okay where there's rooms and suites i'm going to come here and replace this html with what with the the loop of the rooms that we actually have in our database so I'll just simply come here and say copy rooms and suites so I'll search for it in this page it is here so see rooms and suites if i can come and try to change here and save it should be changing so it is not the one so i undo and look for another one so there's another one here i think it should be next to the let's try to search for this word okay let's try to search for this word the word is here okay yeah, i think it's this one okay i'll line three to six so I'll come and refresh you see it has changed okay so i try to change that see that i'm in the right thing so you can see here there is a html a html uh that is looping that is looping through uh through what you see there's a html that is looping i mean sorry there, there's a list of html you have here all carousel all theme and and then you have here items of so you see this is the first item this is the second item of rooms the item of rooms so this is something that we're going to loop to make sure that we have also what you want so let me first come and delete these others don't worry we shall come to them let me first come and delete these ones okay so i can first comment them so if i first comment them if i comment them we shall delete them later if i comment them come and refresh you will see that uh, we are going to have at least one room there okay so there are two rooms i mean there are still more okay show you i want to comment them uh, so you can remain at least one room and then i show you how we're going to loop to come uh i'm going to show you how we can loop to come up with what with the uh, multiple rooms okay so it is one it is one only that the carousel it is uh, showing the endless uh, loop okay so the, the rooms are there but it is one room you see now it is only one room okay and see here the pagination is only one room okay so after doing so uh, now the second the next thing that we're going to do is now to try to loop through the rooms that we have to see that we come up with something like this all right so let's go ahead and uh, get our our what our um, home rooms this is one this is the one here home rooms so i'll come back to our section okay so i'm going to loop and in that inside that loop i'm going to put this what this square this square flip this square flip and that's the one that will cause for us uh multiple rooms so i'm going to say here loop so i'll just simply come here and say uh open php
PHP then place say I have four put your four group and then you can say maybe I item you can say item then come and open I mean and close this okay then you close also the for loop inside here like this so inside here um I can just simply come and say as or right, just leave that okay because just simply say as this so as item so inside here inside this loop you see how I've designed my loop inside the loop it's where I'm going to put the what the room template okay so I'm going to put the room template so I can just simply come and cut this come and cut this how it is there and then come and paste it there okay come and paste it there so I save the come and save you'll see that's still having the same result however right now we can now be able to do what to change the content that is inside here because the data that we are having we already I mean the data that that, that is required here we already have it in this item okay in this item for example I want to change the name okay I want to change the name of the room so I'll come to where there is uh, for example the name is here junior suit so I'll come here and they say can put the, you can put the category instead of the name but let me go ahead and put here the name of the room here and just simply say so I'll just look and say php put equal sign and then put here name all right so if I come and refresh now we should be able to see the name changing you see the name has changed to the one that we have on the dashboard on our, in our database if I come here and try to change for example I'll come and call this one junior suits and I save come and refresh you'll see it has changed to junior suit just because we only have one room there that's why I'm having this so now I'm going to work on the image uh, in the next video I'm going to make sure that the image that is going to display here is uh, a correct image and also go ahead and put for example uh, the number of people that are allowed there the wi-fi if the breakfast is there or not and then put the details and when someone clicks on the detail we should be able to see now the complete room listing so that's it for today uh we have managed to uh make a good learning page for a project so uh all that remaining with is now to make it have life in a way that whatever i click on is doing what is displaying accordingly so that's what we'll be doing in the next lecture so yeah that's it thank you for watching thank you for being part of this at this point we meet in the next lecture we're going to proceed from here keep pushing keep pushing make sure that everything is working even if you find some challenges just know that's part of a journey of becoming a very powerful programmer otherwise uh, without facing challenges then you're not going to become a programmer it's going to be hard for you so challenges are part of the journey so just know that it's not magic everything that i'm doing here is doable all that you need is just for you to give it time and make sure that you understand once you understand you'll see that you'll even come up with your own ideas so you can even be uh, you can be able to do things that are bigger than what i'm doing at this moment all right that's it for today goodbye and see you in the next lecture